All right, guys, today is a very, very special day. Mark this day on the calendar. I am coming to Jumping Jack Trailers. <laughs> I'm here to pick up my new trailer. Guys, I've been using an older style Jumping Jack um, probably for the last, sheesh, it's gotta be five or six years. I don't have a problem with that because the thing is awesome. I still love it, but I'm here to pick up a new blackout model. That one could be the new one. Let's go inside and see who's here. Welcome to Jumping Jack Warehouse. You guys, this is where they build everything. Check this out. So many blackout models. These new blackout models, which is the one I'm picking up, it's got the beefier tires and wheels and it's all blacked out. They say those are selling like hotcakes. Can't even keep them in stock. So I just gotta find these guys and uh, get this thing lined up. Let's see who's over here. Guys, this is Robbie with Jumping Jack. I don't know, you probably met him in one of our other <laughs> vlogs, but we on a few. This is a Jumping Jack machine. You guys have a lot of stuff the, going on. Yeah, you're back in the dirty farm. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, like the second side of the warehouse, huh? Yeah. A lot of stuff goes on in here. There's a, is that a 17 footer? 17. Dang, check that out. 17 footer. I thought it could be mine. And I did see it. <laughs> What's up, dude? Yeah. yeah, shake your hand real quick. Eric. Good time there. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Say hi to the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Made it on a Hush Life vlog. This is it. That is it. Dude, I thought it was blacked out, man. What is this white all about? Silver. Yeah, can't go all black. <laughs> all right, tell me about the blackout model versus the other ones. Um, so the main difference is you've got a larger fender. Obviously, that's to accommodate. We've got a 16-inch aluminum alloy wheel from Raceline. 32-inch all-terrain tire from Radar Tire. Dang! Yeah. Dude, I got a flat on my last trip on my jumping jack. You won't have it. A, can of, a can of fixing flat. <laughs> Fixed it, yeah. dude. Yeah. So that'll be good to get a beefier lenses. tire. And then black bag. So yeah, no logo, color logo, to logo, them? Right. So when they light up, they're colored. Oh, when they light up, they are. Yep. And how about the bag? Back it's even black, black huh? Yeah. This thing is money looking. Holy cow. Brand spanking new. Look at all this stuff. You guys really beefed up the front end, huh? Yeah, so on the front, on these, um, on the blackout models, on the single axle versions, you've got an interchangeable coupler system up here. So you can slide it out, put a pintle hitch, max coupler, whatever you want that way. In there, so. Dang, that's nice a little more off-road capability so this one my old one doesn't have this this right here this accessory becomes a table mm -hmm. which is super useful at camp and then when you fold these up it creates a big cage it's the piece that, that uh, fits like right right here so it can be like a utility trailer which I've used a lot when I moved I used it that way super helpful yeah plus just having a steel table at camp is nice yeah dang new twisty knobs yeah. <laughs> a lot has changed since the model I have. The model I have is probably... It's got to be pushing eight or nine years. I figured it was. I'd guess six, but I think it's older than yeah, that. Yeah, I think it is. So. Well, cool, man. Thing looks awesome. Definitely higher. Two more inches of clearance. Two more there. inches of clearance. You got your... What do you call this? Stabilizer jack. So we'll drop Stabilizer down. jack, and you can just... Boom. So this is a... When you get it level... It uses that so when the tent's not hooked up to your truck, it doesn't tip over. It's nice. And some accessories. Yes, we've got a water rack and cooler rack. Cool. You noticed in your last pictures, you had all your coolers in the back of your truck. Yep. Will, oh, it's a cooler something. rack. So yeah. Nice, Maybe we'll hook man. on, we'll hook them on before you leave, but the water rack is gonna get, they get strapped on right here with that strap it comes with. The cooler rack, strap them on the front or back. That's gonna hook on right here to allow you to throw your coolers in there so they're not all in just the back of your not truck. on the back yeah just yep. take up less space and that's yep. how it rides yeah so we'll hook on then you strap, strap on. on cool <laughs> lucky me <laughs> so we'll get you hooked up if you want to back up to it 
All right, guys, I am uh, hooked up to the Blackout new trailer. This thing is going home with me with the accessories strapped on, ready to go. So, I'm gonna get that baby where it belongs, up in the mountain. Today is Friday, and it's FedEx delivery day in Utah. This is what showed up today, and so did this guy, as soon as he heard. Dude, I've been waiting for my meat from Texas. This is whitetail meat. I've been dying to get it, so is my dad. So we got a whole cooler full of steaks. And look at this. A cooler full of back straps. So those are my two bags. These are yours and Casey's. <laughs> He's mistaken. I mean, we, have, we have mystery meat. We're pretty sure it's cuts of pig and javelina. I've just never seen it in my life cut up like this, so not really sure what to think of it. You shot pig, you did. Yeah. You and Casey both shot pig. My dad did. Yeah. He got, we got a couple, my dad got a couple javelina, I got a javelina, so it must be a mixture of pork. Yeah, it's a, uh, it looks like bone is in. What's up? Oh, you're filming, I'm talking. Always filming. Oh, she's out of here, man. She didn't want to be on the vlog. No, no vlog the life. camera looks so nice and brand new. <laughs> mine is, Eric's is mine is toast. a little dirty. Anyways, we're uh, going to distribute all this out and put it on the Camp Chef. I'm excited. No doubt about it. I'm way excited. No burger? No burger. Steaks? Steaks. On steaks. On steaks. So, yeah. I like steak. It's all good. Look who's in town. Mm -hmm. Money Mendez. Yeah, yeah. We just showed up to Monarch Mountain Taxidermy because my mule deer mount from Idaho is complete. So we're here to pick it up. Let's go check it out. These guys. What's going on? Oh. Oh. The artists. I got it. We got them right there. My there they are. Dang. Oh, Those look so good. That's my Idaho buck, and this is my brother's Utah muzzleloader buck. Bucks. Looks good. And then brothers. Turned out so damn good. <laughs> Look at the neck on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to like Walker's neck, you know? Yeah. Walker's buck is awesome too. That's a muzzle loader cape. Oh, they look good. You guys do amazing work. Thanks, man. Dang, Walker's had really dark eyebrows. I remember that. Yeah, Those turned out good. The only problem is. Where am I gonna fit these on the barnwood <laughs> wall? Out of space. <laughs> Look at the size of the neck, difference in the necks there. How cool, man. Those turned out good. Nice work, guys. You guys do good work. All right, we got them stuffed in here. <laughs> they fit barely. Chad's gonna have a danger zone. <laughs> Right next to his face, he's all, Chad's already been stabbed by his shed antlers twice, twice this weekend. Took my eye out and my tricep. And your arm. Those look great. Thanks a lot, again. So you good to do the other one? Yep, that, that 30 incher. I've, so I still have one more deer with these guys, uh, the dirty 30 buck. So I'm just gonna leave it up to you guys to okay. mount him cool, however he looks good. Okay. You're the professional. I'm not picky <laughs> either. <laughs> Those looked awesome too. My brother will be stoked to see his. So we're gonna get those home and I will try to find somewhere in my house to hang them. Maybe I might have to start moving into the kitchen. <laughs> Fill your room, your yeah. bedroom with all the mounts. All right, let's get up, cool. let's get out of here. We're gonna go head down to Mountain Ops with Chad and move yeah, on. Give me a picture when you get hung up. Okay, thanks again, man. That's Looks great. great. Man. Yeah. What's up, bro? <laughs> we just got to Mountain Ops. Chad and I are going to come up here and uh, hang out with these guys for a minute. We, we might go look at their new offices. These guys are uh, outgrown the car dealership. Um, so we're going to go get a look at that. I've never been to the building, but they say it's pretty cool. So we're just going to see what these guys are up to. Oh, shoot. It's Jordan. What's up, man? Are you Eric? Yeah. The Moose Eric Shed Billion. Finder. Dude, Moose Paddles for days. Are they in the office? Yeah, they up. better be. Show That's cool. Everybody. Did you bring the set? <laughs> oh, no. You had one job. No. One job, Mendez, and you dude, couldn't I even do that. To, I started to grab it, and, and Eric freaked dude. out. No way, dude. You got a new dog? Dude. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's been here for like three weeks ago. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen him yet. Puppy breath. Little boxer, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, a little These puppy. So cool. That's cool. What's his name? Loki. Awesome. Loki. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> Man, <laughs> nothing's cooler than baby animals. I know, right? You guys gonna go have a meeting? Yeah, we're gonna go get some food. Food? Yep. Loki. My buddy has a dog named Loki. I'm always hungry, yeah. so maybe we can get in on that. Do it. Let's go. This is gonna be the new HQ of Mountain Ops. This is the new one, huh? This is the oh. new. Next to the Sweet Bee? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is, uh, this is the dig. So what's actually happening is this building was built back in 1940 and used to be a cherry manufacturing plant. So there was a lot of cherry fields. Um, they would harvest the cherries and then they would um, either make turn them into just obviously put them in jars or they'd you know use them for other things and then they'd ship them globally so back in its heydays this was like a place of industry for the fruit heights city and nice but uh we're now going to take over pretty much the whole building and we're building what's going to be the mountain ops fantasy factory yeah <laughs> i don't know if we could talk about it yet yeah so absolutely yeah. yeah i mean it's not going to be built uh for another six months so we probably won't move in until closer to the end of the year they were gutting out the building and then building out like offices and gyms and all, and all things. Good. This is a cool old building, man. This is what I was telling you. It's just like wow. built out of it's stone. Like a lodge. That's so awesome. Let's see. Okay, so that. It's probably so many here. cherries. This is what I was telling you about Chester. I'm sad these guys are moving. They're moving further away from my house. <laughs> <laughs> but I would love coming to the office. So, so we're gonna have to work out. I'll like, just have to uh, drive a little further. A yeah, what do they call that? A per diem, like a gas, <laughs> gas and food per diem to come up here. <laughs> so awesome. Oh come on, it's oh, open. Yes. open. Good. How are you guys? This spot right here is actually the Conquer College that I was talking to you about. So this space actually here will be a potential office spaces where troubled teens and teens with anxiety can come and get counseling. And then also like what we're thinking is uh, archery range right here. So no way. Clothes. We have an indoor range so they can, just like when you guys did it. What about this? Like this could be the this, protein shack, you know? Yeah, come and get your protein is, shakes. This is going away. That's over here. <laughs> it's going That's away. This is cool. But How can that go away? away? That's so cool. And then. Um, <laughs> a little village. So this will be, this will be separate from um, it's a part of Mountain Ops and it's a part of the experience, but this is where we can help local teens, kids to not only get them help with their anxiety, help with troubled teens, but then also get them acclimated into society and also help introduce them to the outdoors That's and cool. archery. So this will be when you walk into Mountain Ops. So when you enter Mountain Ops, these That's doors, sweet. we're going to redo these doors. Whoa. You'll come in and this is, this is an awesome original cool banister looking. from the building they've done some as you can see some restoration on mm -hmm. it but the beams are original this that we'll walk up to was a shaft where they would actually an elevator shaft where they'd come down when they were doing the cherries they would bring them in here and they'd get them all situated then they put them into the elevator shaft and take them upstairs and then then upstairs the floor actually comes to like a funnel and that's where they would like drain the, the cherries and funnel things back down into that side which would then produce them and then there's out where they'd have the trucks come up and then they'd send it out to the world. That's so crazy. That's kind of the history of the building, but this will be, so we'll have like, right when you walk in, there'll be a reception desk here. We'll have all of Eric Chester's mounts on the wall. Yeah. On the lodge. <laughs> this will be yeah. the fireplace. This is going? Yeah, so this is gonna stay more like, this will be a lounge area right here. And then right here is gonna be a big glass, huge conference room that we'll have here. Um, this is where the, the protein shake and the store front will be. So we could even put like hush stuff here too. That's crazy, man. Um, so this, this will be like retail. building is cool. Look at the yeah, it's so, ceiling. So much this thing is sweet. So all of this is getting, all this is going to be exposed. So we're taking all of this off that they put mm -hmm. and it's all like the cement and rock. So That'll be, be cool. All exposed. All right, guys, so this building you see right there is part of the property and is going to be renovated to match the stone, huh? Yeah, so they're going to, so what they want to do is once they kind of do the upkeep here and restoration on the building in the front and in the inside and everything, we're going to take this building and the exterior is going to look the exact That's same. That's cool. So the entrance for the gym is going to be the middle door. The two are going to be glass open garage doors. Nice. And they'll have like the wood kind of front like that. And then that's where the gym will be 
partitioned for all that. It can be about like 1,500 square feet or so of gym. Cool, man. I'll have to get a membership. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll have a, a place to work out up here in Northern right. Utah. Thanks. And then, um, which is always good. The, the place is literally built into the mountain. So that is where Mountain Ops' offices and everything are gonna be at. Um, we have the gym here, the podcast studio and the video studio. And then right there, as you can tell, we have a big backstop for shooting for right? shooting arrows and shooting okay. bows. Does the city know about this? That's what we're working on right <laughs> now, like, and they're excited for it. Man, that's a cool old building, and look, it's right up, tucked up against the Wasatch Front. We're we're built into the mountain right here on Mountain Road. I want you guys to take a good look at this building and property right now because it's not going to look like this for very long. This is all going to change. So months. take this pano. I'll do a pano. Uh, later this year and we'll see how it looks.